And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I'll obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to the regulations. The Uniform Code of Military Justice. remember. There's always someone who is remembering for us. No matter what time of year it is or what time of day, there are always people who come to this cemetery, leave a flag or a flower or a little rock on a headstone. And they stop and bow their heads and communicate what they wished to communicate. Or all we can ever do for our heroes is remember them. We see these soldiers in our mind as old and wise. We see them as something like the founding fathers, grave and gray-haired. But most of them were boys when they died, and they gave up two lives, the one they were living and the one they would have lived. When they died, they gave up their chance to be husbands and fathers and grandfathers. They gave up their chance to be revered old men. They gave up everything for our country for us. We owe them a debt we can never repay. All we can do is remember them and what they did and why they had to be brave for us. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. The only way they can inherit the freedom we have known is if we fight for it, protect it, defend it, and then hand it to them with the well-taught lessons of how they in their lifetime must do the same. And if you and I don't do this, then you and I may well spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America.